Hey everybody, so how to live your highest vibration in any moment as the teachings of Bashar espouse and I think a lot of us will feel like or know or I know maybe maybe I know that it we really just should it should it's the best way to go so I want to give you some practical examples because a lot of the teachings are like an equation but they're not actually giving so specific so I want to give you a specific on how I live my life and how it's generally pretty awesome so for all ye young people out there or old people who came before me into the physical world <laughs> here's what I'm doing okay so I'm on the computer where I go this tab this place this place this place this place this place or the other one okay go to the one you really want it so that's an example which one is the most exciting and exhilarating and ecstatic towards you Okay, I wanted the sun, I saw the sun. Okay, let's go out to the sun. Oh, wait a minute, I saw the dehydrator. Should I do that? No, 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 it's not my highest excitement. Go over here. So this is, this is an example that inspired me to make the video. Because that dehydrator can survive a few more minutes. So rather than doing that now, I'm missing out on the sun, which is where my heart is. Follow my highest excitement to the best of my ability, to the furthest I can take it, with integrity, without expectation. And that's how you live. That's how you live the teachings. Okay, should I use the saw or use the hatchet to chop the wood? Hmm, which one, which one? Not what I should do or what I think is best. What is most exciting to me? What exhilarates me? What passionizes and stirs my soul? <laughs> so that's it, guys. There's some little examples for you there, you know? Should I go on the left side of the street or the, or the right side of the street? Or the center? Which, whatever one excites you the most, whatever is more interesting and intriguing. So, so guys, <coughs> ra like, rather than living a bit like a robot, which is what we can do, like a structurized robot of rules and regulations, I say life is for living, not for being bound up by rules and regulations. <laughs> so that means the spontaneity of a child, like, like Jesus, like, Ye Ye Yeshua, as his name was in his language, like Yeshua, would say, you, we need to become more like children. And that includes innocence, spontaneity, following your highest excitement, being light, free, happy, authentic, genuine, honest, open, truthful, having fun, lightness basically, playing, embody these qualities and a huge way to embody these quality is to, to do do what I'm saying here and that's also what like a child does anyway before it gets conditioned to live you should do that you can't do this you're not allowed to do that <laughs> child is like whoosh, do this do that get dirty play in the mud roll in the sand roll down the hill play uh, play Iceman and snowbergs <laughs> I know, I like mix, mixing up words sometimes. So, you know, earlier on I went out here with my football and I played some football. Uh, it was the, I was actually hanging out with the kids even, you know, because they were bringing two dogs for a walk. It's like that neighbor and the next neighbor. So I was like, we all had a little nice time. Then, then my inspiration called me, okay, I've had enough of this, now I want to go in here, so I went in. So rather than staying longer in places you don't like, like, could be anything you don't like rather than staying longer in it leave it it's like a social occasion or a party or whatever um, and rather than doing things to begin with that you don't like just be honest with yourself and other people and uh, with integrity without being mean or anything and you'll find your life will be so much less heavy and more light light and, and more happy and fun and you'll have more peace instead of being a people's pleaser for example if you feel like touching a tree, go over and touch the tree. Kiss it if you feel like it. Doo -doo -doo. So don't live up to structures and formats. You can mix things around. Like, do it, like for example, I'm just doing that. Like I'm not trying to say my way is the best way, but it's a, good, a very good way. And it embodies a lot of real things. So you don't have to always like try be something or somebody. So just let go of trying to be somebody or somebody or something, and be more spontaneous and unpredictable. Like many actual like great teachers have talked about, like um, 
being like a child or even like sort of being unpredictable. I think Osho talked about being unpredictable. And that's because you're alive in the moment, you're sponta spontaneous and you never can predict exactly what your highest excitement and inspiration will be. It could be that, this moment or this the next moment or the next day or under the same conditions because we, we change and even in, under the same conditions we'll be like gravitating towards different things. So that's the power of unpredictability and living in the moment, spontaneous, your true heart, heart's joy and desires. So there you go guys, I think this has been a fantastic video, I've absolutely loved and adored making it. Thank you for your time, kindness, pleasure and honour and love and sacredness and beauty and respect and send you the highest blessings and like honour on your journey. So um, we're, I'm with you together learning, doing our own thing, our own soul's choice of coming here at this time, this moment, this place, this country, this family, this person, this body, these characteristics to explore certain themes and the journey is ours and we're co-creating and co-inhabiting the earth and we're having a good time. So I'll see you again in another video and feel check out my links below um, if you need any of my services, coaching, inspired coaching. If you feel like it, if um, you want to learn about vegan cooking or vegan raw food preparations, my, Sal my girlfriend partner Sally's website, or my herb store, which helped me heal in my journey from being sick and injured and like exhausted and depleted, and now I'm a, now I'm a jumping jack bean. <laughs> um, so yeah, just truly wishing you the best, that's all. So if you feel like any of these links can be of help to you, then go ahead and have a look, and otherwise I'll just catch you again in another video. So. Until then, stay blessed, well, happy and healthy. <laughs> Bye. That's a, such a glorious day, isn't it, guys? So beautiful, beautiful. It's like two nights. I'm going to lodge a complaint to God. <laughs> Stars, you made two nights of a day, and I'm, I'm getting out of here. <laughs>